Hello, welcome. Are you in my class? I'm so excited to meet you. Welcome to sixth grade. My name is Kathy Dixon. I'm really excited to be your math teacher this year and to get started I just want to tell you a little bit about me. Last March I started something really exciting and something that was new and a little bit scary for me. I started a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is where I talk about teaching, reflecting on teaching, and how I can impact my own growth as a teacher and my students' growth. So I'm really excited about continuing on this journey. You are welcome to subscribe to my channel. And sometimes I'll have students in my videos too, and we'll talk more about that when I meet you. When you come into class on the first day, there will be assigned seats so that you know where to sit. And then after that, we'll do some random seat generating, and sometimes you'll be able to design the seating chart or pick your own seats. But you'll want to come in with your supplies and sit down, and then go ahead and have a look at this board. You can see that there's two different math classes that I teach. So you'll look for your math class. You'll see the date up here every day. And then we'll always have the objective, that day's learning target, as well as any homework or practice to do at home. And then over here in this area, we always write the agenda. So the agenda is the exact order of how we do things in class. So you'll always know as a learner what is expected of you, what is the goal that we're going to meet that day, and then the steps that we're going to take to meet that goal. You're probably wondering why I'm holding these things, and that's because every day we take a volunteer to be student leader and read this board. So you don't have to memorize it, you don't have to make up your own things to say, you just go ahead and you let the class know all the things that we're going to do today. And sometimes our student leaders like to use this purple power pointer. Sometimes they like to use this dollar store microphone because it echoes and it's fun. Here's our classroom, and if you notice, all the tables are arranged in groups of four, and then there's one table that's arranged in a group of six. And this is because our math resource, which is called Open Up Resources 6-8 Math, there's a lot of talking about mathematics with this resource that we're using. Sometimes you'll be doing quiet think time, so you'll be thinking independently about math. Sometimes you'll be talking with a partner, and then other times with your table group, and then we'll come together as a whole class and we really build that knowledge together. You're going to love it. So look at this area right here. You notice that there are six red bins. That's because we have six table groups. These are our geometry toolkits and we're gonna be starting with unit one for math and unit one is about geometry. So in here will be some of the manipulatives and some of the tools that you'll use when you're thinking about mathematics. Some of you might be really excited about the first day of school for middle school and some of you might be a little nervous and both are okay. If you feel nervous, just know that I'm gonna feel nervous too. I get very nervous about meeting over 120 students and trying to learn their names. You might be wondering things like where's the restroom? I know I'm like that when I go to a new building, so I'm just going to take you on a little quick tour so that you don't feel any of those nerves about that. Just so you know, right outside my classroom, this is not the restroom for students. This is the restroom for staff. That means it's for the teachers and paraprofessionals and other adults that work in the building. Okay, so we have these two restrooms here, and you notice that they say staff only. So those are for the adults. Hello, Mrs. Dew. Hi, Mrs. Dixon. How are you today? I'm doing great. Uh, did you have a great summer? I did. It was absolutely fabulous. I traveled a ton with my husband and with my children, and it was just absolutely wonderful. I'm so glad that you caught me here after I was coming out of the bathroom that you noticed that this indeed is a faculty bathroom. I'm Mrs. Dooms and I am just so fortunate to work with Mrs. Dixon and to teach with her and also to teach with uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Rotolo and even the seventh and eighth grade teachers as well. I am so looking forward to this dynamic year. I just can't wait to get started. If you come down here, you'll notice that I'm right across from the library area. Down this way are some more sixth grade teachers. All right, so we're back at my room. This is the adult faculty restroom. And down the hall here, as you go towards the mural that says, we are all pieces of the same puzzle, you walk past this, even walk past this mural, and there you'll find the restrooms and a drinking fountain, okay? Another thing that I know sixth grade students sometimes worry about is their locker. They're worried that they won't remember their locker number or remember their combination. And I just want to put you at ease right now. All of us will be in the hallway every day in between classes the first couple weeks of school and we will be helping you. 
you might forget it. You might forget your combination, it's okay. Teachers have a master list with all student names, all locker numbers, and combinations, so don't worry about it. Another thing that I know sixth grade students worry about is buses and bus numbers. Some of you will be picked up, some of you will ride the bus. Don't worry if you forget your bus number. We also have a master list with all student names and what bus you ride. Come with me, we're gonna take a sneak peek in the other sixth grade math teacher's classroom. Come on. Hi, Ms. Rotolo, hi. Hi, Mrs. Dixon. How are you? I'm doing great. Did you have a good summer? Yeah, are you excited about the new school year? We are so excited. I cannot wait to meet all the new sixth graders and dive into our curriculum with math. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Well, that's about all I can think of right now. I'm really excited to meet you in person and I'm excited for school to start. Are you ready for more?